What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today we're going to be doing a little APL shoe review. So if you're familiar with APLs, they're basically like a functional training shoe. They have ones that are better for lifting, ones that are better for running, ones that are kind of a mix in between. That's what mine are. I actually found these for $100 on Poshmark. Such a steal. The girl wore them once. They were way too small on her, so she sold them to me. And I am so glad I found them because I wanted an all-white pair. I believe mine are the Tech Loom Breeze. So they are more of that mix in between resistance training and you can like run in them. We're going to test that out today. I've done F45 classes in them and I love them, but I've never actually ran in them. So today we're going to be running on the treadmill. We're going to be doing a lower body strength session and you guys will get all the details. I'll review them and let you know how I like them. But yeah, I was heavily influenced by Kelly Yeager. She's like my favorite YouTuber, favorite Instagram person to follow, and she has like 15 pair of these. So heavily influenced by her to try these out. So far, I love them. Today will be the true test running in them as well as lifting. So let's get right into this workout. As you guys could probably tell, it was very quad and glute focused. I added treadmill sprints between every superset to test out the shoes some more and then also keep my heart rate elevated. So I would do four rounds for the superset, a one minute treadmill sprint, and then head to the next superset. My final thoughts on the shoes. Like I said, I have the Tech Loom Breeze version, I believe. 
and I'm pretty sure they're built for both like strength training and running. They're not their like solely running shoe that just came out. They're not those ones. I think they're built for a mixture of both strength and cardio training. And I am pleasantly surprised. When I wore them at F45 the other day, I didn't really like them on the turf. I felt like I was gonna slip a lot because they are super lightweight and a little bit flatter, but I actually really love them on the treadmill. I felt like I could run at like world record speeds, guys. I don't know if it's because the treadmill obviously had more like tread to it and I felt more secure, like I wasn't gonna slip. I love these for sprinting. I don't think I would ever do like a long distance run in them at all, but they are amazing for sprinting. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like them at all. I was pleasantly surprised and I loved them and I already knew this from F45, but they are amazing for those strength exercises. I feel like I can really push through my heel on every exercise, target those glutes. And I'm a fan. A lot of people like lifting in like Converse or super flat shoes. I don't like that. I feel like these are the perfect like in between. They're not as like high of an arch as my Nike Zoom Pegasus. So they're not that like thick running like sole. They're perfect like in between of a super flat shoe and a running shoe. And I guess that's why they're built for both. It makes perfect sense. So just know I am a fan. I believe they are the Tech Loom Breeze. They have the laces that tie on the inside and I honestly didn't even tie them. I just tucked them in. One, because I was lazy, and two, because I wanted to see if they would truly stay tight, and they did the entire time. I didn't have to like tie them any tighter, retighten the laces or anything. They stayed exactly how I first put them the entire workout, which impressed me a lot. If you are someone who is looking into APLs, first off, check out Poshmark because there are a ton of pair on there. If you put in your size, I guarantee new pair and old pair will come up. I was lucky enough to find a pair that was worn once, and they were a great price. I couldn't get myself to pay full price for a brand new pair, not knowing if I liked them or not, so that is why I checked out Poshmark first. But now I know that I'm a big fan of this style. A ton of people at F45 wear them, and they have a ton of the other different styles too. They have ones with no laces. People have the more like running style ones, so. As of right now, I am a big fan of APL. I understand why people like them a lot, and I think they do a good job creating a shoe that is designed for what they say it is designed for. But that is gonna be it for this APL review. You guys also saw a great look at a at-home or gym-based workout. So if you're in need of a quad and glute workout, I highly recommend that one. I loved it. I loved it with the treadmill sprints intertwined. And if you can't do pistol squats, use a TRX strap and do them assisted that way. But that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye.